Since 2010, YouTuber Chance Wilkins, also known as Cyrax and several other names we will come to learn in this documentary, has been creating multiple YouTube channels which range from a variety of content. The most notable is his music channel, where he originally created anime music videos. He mainly creates music from rap, metal, electronic, etc. He'll sometimes use different types of instruments, such as a homemade drum kit or a DJ controller. Cyrax has also made multiple Let's Plays and reviews of video games, most notably racing games such as Dirt Rally, Need for Speed, Asphalt, and more. Cyrax briefly created a channel under the name of Dark Star Films where he created short drama films such as The Darkness, in which someone opens a mobile app that unleashes a demon to continuously torture him. He's also reviewed films and cameras, and created vlogs, tips, video effects reels, and much more. He's mostly known for live streaming on YouTube, Facebook, and Kick, in which he talks about trolls, music, announcements, let's plays, and more. Sometimes he'll even feature guests and trolls on these live streams. The story of Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax, can be a very long and lengthy one, and this video will likely turn into a series of videos with how much information we are going to consume. Before we go any further, I'm going to give a quick, brief overview of Cyrax and his background. Chance Wilkins was born, named Patrick Smith, in Alaska on September 20th, 1990, to parents Rupal Smith and Connie Lobdell. He was born very prematurely after only 16 weeks of gestation, entering the world with a severely underdeveloped body, suffering from physical and mental ailments. In 1994, Cyrax's father, Rupal, was arrested and given to a 20-year sentence for R-wording a 14-year-old girl on a bike trail. Connie was deemed unfit to take care of a child due to her intellectual disability. Because of this, Cyrax had to move in with his grandmother, Sally Wilkins, who changed his name from Patrick to Chance because she believed she was giving him a second chance at life. Sally will become a very prominent, if not main character in this story. During Cyrax's school years, he was bullied due to his deformed appearance. He was also very unintelligent, to the point to where he was held back in high school until he was 23 years old. He was finally expelled after some time for making false police reports. In 2013, he threw himself off the school's second floor balcony as a part of a dare, resulting in a broken arm. Blaming the people who dared him and claiming they pushed him off, he called the police on them and got expelled as a result. As of right now, in 2024, I do not believe he has received a GED. Cyrax's earliest online activity was when he created his first YouTube account back in 2010. We have just touched on that, so we won't go any further. On February 14th, 2012, Cyrax would be arrested for strangling and beating up his grandmother Sally. Though when questioned by police, he said that he blacked out and didn't remember the incident. He started this during an argument where he wanted to walk to Kansas from Ohio for some reason to go see his then online girlfriend. He currently still lives with Sally and her boyfriend Ed in Akron, Ohio with no employment or income. Cyrax spends most of his time in the house, body cam footage from police officer visits from his house as recent as October 2023, suggest that Sally has started to lock Cyrax inside the house, most likely due to his unpredictable and argumentative behavior towards the police. In 2019, Cyrax befriended a woman online by the name of Candle Smith. Although their relationship was strictly platonic, Cyrax repeatedly made unwanted advances towards her. At some point, Cyrax lost patience and started to publicly harass her, her family, and allegedly her landlord as well as spreading her personal information online. In the wake of this Candle Smith controversy, an acquaintance of Candle relayed the story to a YouTuber named Music Biz Marty, who was intrigued by Cyrax's bizarre demeanor. And this is where things truly begin to pick up, and this is where we're going to start our very in-depth look at the story of Cyrax. This first chapter is Marty vs. Cyrax. That's a fucking lie, you dumb hooker.
What's up, y'all? So, I was having a pretty good day. And then, I seen some shit in our yard. A bunch of bananas. I figured, you know, maybe someone had dropped them or whatever. But you dumb motherfuckers. You fucking assholes. Adler and Marty. You fucking ignorant little fuckbags. I've seriously had enough of this. Like, for real. Bananas being written on? Really? Is that all you fucking got, you chimps? Like, the one who chimps out shall... Shall eat like one? The Mergolision? I'm not sure how that, what that says. But then you got... Huh. All right, not gonna lie, that was unoffensive. That's just dumb. But dude, for real, y'all need to quit this crap, man. It's fucking dumb. Buy board ape dot net NFTs. Huh. Uh, can't tell what that one says. Like for real, this dumb shit. For real, this garbage. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? This is stupid. I'm going to tell y'all right the fuck now. I am not Chris Chan. I am not whatever the fuck you dumbasses seem to think that I am. And yes, I am doing this so I have it on documentation that you fucking assholes are harassing me. And trust me, I'm going to find out who the fuck y'all are. Like this right here. Larry Vaughn strikes again. Now this one's fucked up. Are you fucking kidding me, nigga? Now this right here, I have to admit, is funny. That one's not even offensive. That's just hysterical as fuck. But buy ape coin for real? Can you come up with anything more original, you fucking idiots? And then this one right here, don't you want to show this up here for real? For fucking real. Is that is that the level of stupidness that we're that you're sinking to now? Now, as we're already seeing from the jump here, Marty and the buddy trolls are no stranger to making Cyrax feel uncomfortable and just messing with him in general, whether it be as small as a banana or something larger. Well, we're gonna jump right into the most important and hysterical parts of the Marty versus Cyrax beef. This all really came to a head when Marty came to Akron to just troll from a closer distance, if you will. And I'll let this next clip from a recent stream I've done covering this kind of speak for itself. Alright, let's jump over to this one now. I'm going to give you a little bit of context. Marty is basically the guy who brought Cyrax to the world, right? He was like the original OG troll, if you will. And this clip is, the World Star Hip Hop thing is just a joke, and that makes me laugh every time I see that stupid logo on there. It's like, World Star! But, um, basically, he, M Marty gives me a little bit of concern myself, because, like, what type of grown man, he's like a 30-year-old man himself, like, goes out to Akron, far from where he lives, gets an Airbnb just to troll this guy in person. Like, you don't have anything better to do with your life. Like, I don't know. But um, I'm glad he did it because this gives us the opportunity to see how much of like a, a real wimp and like scoundrel um, homeboy actually is. Because when you hear, like you'll see he comes in tough, like, oh, I'm going to beat your ass. Literally one punch in and bro starts screeching like a goblin. So let's watch this. I don't know if this is the full fight, but uh, um, right after this, we'll jump right into where he confronts him online. So basically, Cyrax is going to get roughed up a little bit. Then he's going to go right back home and do the same thing Cyrax always does. Talking shit on the internet. He was, he was, he was going down the alley. His wife's off. Look. He should be moving the camera angle because you'll see like Cyrax literally like appears out of nowhere oh, under is. a street light. It's kind of scary. Come on by, buddy boy. Come on by, Sarah. Watch, watch, okay, watch right here. He's gonna, ra like, see this car go by? He's gonna literally appear, watch, like, out of thin air, like a goblin. Come on by. 
Yeah, where the fuck did he come from? Where the fuck does he come from? <laughs> like, I want, I want, I want explanations. Where the fuck did he come from? Let's go back again. Look, he's not there at all, right? Nobody's there, right? This car goes by. He conjures. Oh, my. Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> like, like, why does this make me laugh so much? Like, where did he come from? Like, come by, car goes by. Come by. What the fuck? <laughs> he literally conjures into the goddamn scene. Where did he come from? Like, <laughs> somebody please explain this. Oh, you see him? He's throwing a punch. You hear him grunting? Oh, here we go. I'm I just wish we had a better angle of what actually happened. Oh, he's running. He's goblin ways. So yeah. Basically, we don't get a very good shot of it, but as you can hear, this bro is full goblin, like full-blooded. Like, if this was RuneScape, he would be a level 3 goblin in Lumbridge right now, getting his booty smacked up by some noob. Like, this is actually, like, hilarious. But again, I want to go back, and I want to know where the fuck Cyrax comes from. I don't see him walking here. I know it's a potato quality. Let me see if I can get it any higher. Uh, no, this is the highest quality possible. Let's see. Oh, here he is. He said here he is. I don't see nothing. Where, where, where does this man conjure from? Oh, Let's see. Look, he's not there. There's nobody there. See? Completely empty street. Nothing. This car drives by and this motherfucker just appears. He just appears. Uh, oh, my. What the fuck? <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Like, I know it's probably just because it's shitty quality and we don't see him, but, like, for some reason, like, this has, like, constantly been on my mind ever since I saw this clip. Like, where did he come from? Where did he go? Where'd you come from, Cyrax Joe? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, oh, my God. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with that. I'm going to play it one more time. One more time. No Cyrax. Nowhere to be seen. Come by, sir. Car drives by. Come by. Boom. <laughs> Like, tell me that's not fucking amazing. Tell me that's not the most amazing goblin magic you've ever seen in your life. On March 3rd, 2023, Music Biz Marty visited Akron, Ohio, booking an Airbnb rental a few streets away from where Cyrax's house was in order to troll him by making him think he moved in. Later that night, while Marty was streaming in front of the house, Cyrax showed up and began fighting Marty but was quickly overpowered by him and lost the fight shortly after. Screaming, death rattling, whatever you want to call it, admitting defeat and walking back home. According to Marty, he thought he saw Cyrax holding something which he assumed was a weapon. Cyrax gained a few injuries during the fight, including a black eye and a nosebleed, but nothing too, you know, intensive. He would stream immediately after the fight, announcing that he was still standing, and then called the police on Marty. Though no legal actions would come of this, Cyrax delusionally claimed to this day that he won the fight, making various excuses that he won by showing up or simply standing back up. Marty, why are you spreading lies without me saying that I went to jail when I did not? Nice. Nice. How you doing, Cyrax? I want to know why you're spreading lies about me, saying that I went to jail when I didn't. Oh, Cyrax, you've been to jail several times. You screamed every time like a little girl. You and I both know that never happened. Uh, um, um, no, don't lie, Marty. You know that never happened. I didn't know that. That's what I heard. 
No, I did not go to jail. I'm still here, clearly. I'm fine. I'm good. How, Marty, how you Marty? doing? How you doing? Honestly, Marty, what you did, I don't know if you realize this, but you almost fucking killed me. I could have killed you. No, you almost. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Like, you almost killed me, bro. He's got one little thing. He probably got hit one time. We saw the whole scuffle. Mainly, it was like Marty sitting on top of his ass. Look, hit the keto diet, bro. Come on, man. You and Sally both can get on this. You don't have to look like pillows. Did. There was no could have. You almost did. I simply came up there to fucking talk to you to tell you to leave. I was not. Bro walked up shirtless, bowed up like this. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you, as he was literally threatening him the whole way up there. You gonna beat your ass? I just wanted to talk to you, though. I just wanted to talk to you, though. When the fucking swing at you at all. He kind of came bolting out of your door. At I love that limbo. <laughs> How are you doing, crusty sock goblin? Eyes trying to run away from each other. You could have killed me. You almost fucking did, bro. If you think getting hit one time like that is going to kill you, wait until you actually go to prison one day for all yes, this. Or PDF file. Excuse me. Sorry, Twitch. Sorry, I'm sorry, Twitch. Um, but imagine you actually go to jail, prison, wherever you go. And you they, they're going to find out your paperwork pretty quickly. I'm sure he'll be in protective custody. He'll probably more than likely get sent to some sort of psychiatric hospital with you know the issues he has. But imagine, even there, I can't imagine that anybody would be too terribly happy with you um, <laughs> about that at all. They're probably still going to whoop up on you a little bit. Um, and the lack of understanding and morality, even in a place that's like a psychiatric ward, I, uh, I think they're probably going to slap you up more. And then you're going to actually know what near death is. Yeah. Did you not hear the fucking death rattle in my voice? When you hear a death rattle in someone's voice, that means they're yeah, but then on the you tried to punch me again from the ground. Because you wouldn't get off of me, you asshole. Well, you look like you look like a rabid ferret. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a rabid ferret is the best thing I think I've heard anybody call Cyrax. That was beautiful. Now for this next part, we have to go back a little bit in time and get back with the Candle Smith debate. Cyrax got involved with a woman named Candle Smith after they began chatting online. However, Candle broke off contact with him after Cyrax confessed his feelings to her. Somewhere around January 2019, Candle began making several allegations against Cyrax, including stalking, doxing, and harassment. Candle alleges Cyrax posted her home address online and began contacting her landlord to get her evicted. She also revealed Cyrax had sent voicemails to her saying that the allegations are false and wants her to stop lying about him online. Also including allegations of Cyrax, you know, beating his chicken to children. She also attests he was stalking and harassing her. In a live stream on September 10th, 2021, Cyrax relates to his viewers that she came up with false child predator allegations and attempted to murder him. He threatens her to stop or else he would go to her location and kill her. Cyrax would stop engaging with Candle after she faked her death. Some speculate that Candle could be lying due to the lack of evidence in her behavior on the internet. Cyrax was scheduled to go to court on July 3rd, 2023 for violating a protective order against Candle by making threatening and slanderous videos on her. On said day, the date for the court case was moved to July 24th, 2023. Afterwards, a man of the name William Gloryhole, of all things, would come into the picture. One of Cyrax's biggest trolls to date. They revealed that the officer who arrested him was contacted by the district attorney to give his testimony rundown. So, he showed them Cyrax's various threats and rages. Cyrax then made various vlogs encouraging people to stop victimizing him. With these videos, he would also reveal that he was legally forbidden from even speaking to Candle anymore. On July 24th, Cyrax pled not guilty, and the trial was rescheduled to August 22nd, 2023, and would contain a jury. Cyrax would hire a new lawyer on August 9th, 2023, and requested a continuance. 
canceling the August 22nd court date and scheduling a pretrial on August 30th, 2023. On said day, the case was again moved to September 27th, 2023. On the day of the court trial, the case was dismissed, of course. Watch, wait. This is the stepdad, right? This is Ed. This is the stepdad. This guy is useless and won't do anything. He looks like a methed out, you know, typical southern yeehaw, right? But when you see Cyrax pop out of here in about five seconds, you're going to probably laugh really hard. Imagine now, you c like this guy's going to come at you and, and, and whack you with a bat, right? Imagine that. This shit's hilarious. <laughs> is this Skyrim? Is this a Skyrim NPC? And these guys aren't even in the South. These guys are in Akron, Ohio. That ain't the South, brother. That's goddamn Canada. Like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Why do these guys look more Southern and cracked out than I do? I'm literally from a place called Meth Nellen. Like, this guy looks like he would have been there. I'm like, what is going on in Ohio? See, this guy's really smart. You notice, we'll go back just like a second. You notice, so allegedly, they own this sidewalk, Cyrax's family. But, or they, they rent the house, they don't own it, but it's technically their property, right? Um, now, all of us that are, you know, logical human beings know that the sidewalk is public property, or at least, at the very least, is usually owned by the county, right? This, this sidewalk is usually not a part of your property. You're, you are required to maintain it in some senses, but the sidewalk in front of my house here, I don't own, you know what I mean? I, I couldn't say I own it. Um, this guy's saying, he, they claim so hard that this is their property, so watch how this guy, ca like when he sees he's going to get swung at, casually steps back onto the street so now this is an assault charge, 100%. Look at this. Let's just step back. Watch. 200 fucking IQ. <laughs> this was a very deliberate troll. Oh, shit. Look, look, look. How are you going to swing... And as you saw, that was the, this was the wimpiest swing. Like, you could tell he really put his might into it. No, let it happen, let it happen. I love the guy filming, like, let it happen. <laughs> what was that kick, dude? This is literally like watching a toddler try to, like, fight his dad or something. <laughs> Imagine being that close, that's so terrifying. I'm trying to get a... A good. Ah, oh, God, it's so hard to get a good stopping on it. But like, let's go. Like, imagine this being right up in your face. Like, I would be so scared just of seeing this face because I wouldn't want it to get on me. Like, I feel like if he touched me, I would t suddenly turn into a goblin like him. And I already look kind of like a goblin. I'm skinny as shit, man. Hey, beat his ass, bro. Beat his ass. Fuck it. Beat his ass. And the troll doesn't even need beat to beat his, his ass. ass. That's how much Cyrax is a, such a pussy. Look at, there's the screenshot I wanted to get. Look at that, man. Bro, what are you looking at? We, like, we, we're, we're right here, center. Why are you looking this way? That's what I'm saying. I would be terrified if this guy was, like, coming at me, like, just kind of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's another video of him getting into a fight that I'll pop up here in a second. <laughs>
As you can see here, he even walks like a goblin, and it's definitely uncomfortable to witness. But the way he moves, the way he walks, it really just kind of makes me see Cyrax in a different perspective. More as a mentally ill person, more than an actual, you know, monster, I guess, even though he is a monster in a sense. It's just interesting to see, like, the way this guy, you know, talks so big and has this massive ego online, but in person he's just this little frail goblin. For you. Who? You don't think I don't see this shit every day, dumbass? Who? I don't got you figured out because you try to... Hey, what do you mean? Who are you talking about? Oh, you know exactly who I'm talking about, dumbass. What's your name? You're talking about my, my one friend, or my one friend, a.k.a. your crash test dummy, that's laid up in the hospital right now. You know... Oh, you're talking about April, aren't you? You don't think I haven't figured you out, Marty? I've had you figured out since day one. I've just been stringing you along. And you want to know why I've been stringing you along? To make you look like the dumb fucking idiot that you are. Matter of fact, you did my job for me, honestly. You really did my job for me. You made yourself look stupid. Because I figured out since day one that you were a fucking bully this whole time. And yeah, you may have done some shit that may have been fucked up. And that may be true. I may have done some shit that ain't the best. But you know something, like Marty? What? Like what? But you know... Like what? what? What have you done that's not the best? Well, let's see. Yelling at you, bitching at you. But here's the thing. What about the stuff with kids? Yeah, that's the thing. That never fucking happened. No. What about threatening to kill kids? Yeah, Marty, here's the thing. You threatened my family, so I get to threaten yours. Fair is fair, bitch. You threaten my family, I can do the same right back, motherfucker. Fair is fair, boy. Okay, fair enough. In the great words of Cyrax himself, If thou shalt throw fire, I shall throw double fire back. The logic of Cyrax is always kind of amazing to me. He'll be this big tough guy online, say all these egregious things, even things that are beyond what any normal person would do even if they had anger issues. And then when somebody gives him a little bit of that same taste of medicine back, he's instantly like, whoa, 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 what do you mean? What do you mean? I was just defending my family. It was your fault. Something I've come to learn after watching hours of Cyrax content is that it's always everybody else's fault. It's never Cyrax's fault. It's always gotta be Music Biz Marty or William Gloryhole or one of these various trolls. So what you don't get, Marty, is that if you still don't get it, do you? Without me, you would be a worthless piece of shit bum living on the fucking streets. I'm not really sure where it comes from, but Cyrax has always seemed to have this inflated self-worth in this whole Cyrax universe story. Like, yeah, he's the main character, but not in a good way and not in the way that, you know, is super endearing. He seems to think that he owns a lot of these people and their content because it's about him or critical of him. And I've noticed a lot of the times that he seems to, especially more in more recent days, he seems to think that this gives him some sort of power and he tries to flex that at any time. But it's interesting that he constantly will say to Marty, you would be nothing, you'd be a homeless bum, etc. When Marty was kind of chilling, doing his own thing. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's very interesting to see his perspective on this, but it just shows you how delusional this little goblin can be. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a YouTube career. You would have nothing. And you... Well, Cyrax, I think when I found you, there, I, I say this all the time, there was three people watching, and I was two of them. Um, you know, I, I think that both of our viewer count has increased. Um, are you making any money, though, Cyrax? That's funny. Cyrax, are you making any money, dude? But I'm really going to enjoy Marty. You know what I'm really gonna laugh at and just, oh, I'm gonna fucking love this. When I stop reacting to you, your little channel and your little viewers are gonna go bye-bye. Well, Cyrax, when I stop paying attention to you, you start getting desperate and seeking me out. It's like we have a toxic codependency. Guess what? The only one that's desperate is you. That's why whenever I stop paying attention to you, you attack my friends and family, cause you're a fucking- 
But what friends or family am I attacking right now if April's not real? By now I'm sure you've all noticed that Cyrax likes to lean on his family and friends a lot to kind of be scapegoats for his crappy behavior. And as you can see here again, he kind of likes to make things up or exaggerate what actually happens. He'll sit there and say, hey, you're, you're threatening my family, when a lot of the time, Marty is probably one of the more calm and cool collected trolls that you'll see in this whole universe. He doesn't typically get too gross or nasty, at least not about his family. He can say some things about Sally here and there and maybe make a joke at Ed, but he doesn't typically lean into, you know, dragging in his family too much. But Cyrax definitely uses this as a crutch. You're desperate, Marty. Every time I stop paying attention to you and I do my own thing, guess what? You get desperate and you start attacking my friends and family. Maybe if you shut the fuck up and you leave people alone. And you do like CP Lord said, or Lord CP, which, uh, however, he... Lord CP just recently admitted that he had a gay sex dream about a man. So what? Who gives a fuck? Hey, Cyrax, do you remember the time that you had butt worms and you were literally digging them out of your ass and looking at them very closely? Hey, Marty. Remember the time that I caught you backstage at your stream, fucking talking to Michael, trying to turn him against me because you're a scared bitch? No, because you weren't backstage when that happened. Oh, thing. Hey, Cyrax, why are you talking like this? This starts to feel pretty strange. Let me ask you this. Okay. If I wasn't there, if I wasn't there, then how would I know about you telling him? to stop doing shit for me and to stop associating with me. I heard the whole conversation, you fucking idiot. Well, Cyrax, it seems that now your financial lifeline is cut off, that you're not going to be able to buy any more video games. Is the thing, though, as it's actually not. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it's not. Well, no one's giving you money right now, and that's just an absolute fact. Hey. You're never gonna win against me, boy. I already have, Cyrax. You're never going to win, Marty. I have other sources of income, you dumbass. Like what, Cyrax? <laughs> That's none of your business, Ray. It's a lie. It's a lie, Cyrax. Marty, you don't get it, do you? I see right through your bullshit. You, you don't think I'm not gonna... You don't think I don't see what you're trying to do? You're trying to do to me like you tried to do with the thing with Jake a few weeks back. Who? My little brother, the guy who you tried to get me to tell the work job of. Who, oh, by the way, okay. I, who, by the way, I do know where he works. You I'm really not telling him. I'm just not telling him. Hey, boy, I know where you work. You better watch your back. I'm about to tell you look at these shoulders. Honestly, I don't know why, but every time Cyrax talks, I just feel like I'm in some sort of, like, weird Aether reality of, like, WWE, WWF days. Like, this is, like, AEW currently with, like, the five people who come out to the shows. Beautiful stuff, man. Honestly, the part about uh, the butt worms kind of terrifies me, and I, I kind of want to look more into it, but at the same time, I don't really want to put myself through that. So um, there is a little gift that played sometime in this video of him digging him out of his booty, and that's probably as far as I'm willing to realistically go with it. But look at these shoulders, dude. Hello, Nick, a.k.a. Music Biz Marty. For the past seven years, you have done nothing but attack, harass, bully, and take away my fucking life. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? And now all of a sudden you want to go after my friend Nick. After my friend Steve. Why? Because I won't give you what you want. Why don't you leave his kids out of it, you stupid fat fuck? Cyrax, if we're gonna tell anybody to leave the kids out of it, it's gonna be you, brother. Like, brother, ooh, stop sending your junk to kids, or who you think are kids. Can't wait to get into that episode of this, because uh, you're gonna see why we really hate the guy. But again, this is another classic case of Cyrax projection. 
He likes to project and say all these gross and negative things out there on these streams directed towards other people to try to make anybody who might not know him kind of, I guess, come to his side, try to gaslight them, if you will. But in reality, every single time Cyrax goes out and calls somebody a certain thing, it's usually just self-projection. Because all you are, Nick, is nothing more than a fucking internet bully. Stop going after people's families because you don't get what you want. And I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm not going to give you what you want. I'm not going to get on panel with you. I'm not going to dance for you. And I sure as fuck ain't going to sing for you. You're mentally ill, you are mentally disturbed, and you need help. You are not mentally fit to be a YouTuber or a content creator. You are not mentally fit to be a streamer. You are an internet bully that has bullied me and my family for the last seven years. And now because somebody's helping me out, you want to sit there and bully them? F*** you. Like I told you, Nick, I'm never going to get on YouTube again. I am never going to give you what you want ever again. Matter of fact, Steve even knows that after this live stream, I am never confronting you ever again. I am done dealing with you. You cause too much pain and too much hell in my goddamn life. And I'm tired of it. You are a sick, twisted All you do is attack people for views. You attack people with special needs. And you make them do can do. I am f***ing tired of it. I left to get away from you, Nick. Because I don't want nothing to do with you, Music Biz Marty. I left to get away from you. Because I want nothing to do with you. Now, I'm telling you right now, Nick, if you go after his kids, it's not going to end well for you, boy. It's not. And that's not a threat, neither. That's a f***ing truth. Your ass needs to back off and leave people the f*** alone. You need to piss off. Leave me and my friends alone. Leave me and my family alone. I honestly have to say I think one of the saddest parts about Cyrax and his personality is that there are actually like hundreds of callout videos of him talking smack to Marty, William Glory Hole, and just a whole bunch of other characters that we'll come to find out sooner or later. And this next series of rants you're gonna see kind of just shows that like it's a broken record, you know, it, it never changes, it's always the same. Sometimes it makes me wonder why there is such an audience for this guy. And like, I get it. I myself have been down this rabbit hole for a couple of weeks now, and I've just been honestly a little bit addicted. It's like every time I'm like, all right, all right, that's enough goblin juice for the day. I see another dumb video pop up of him saying something. I'm like, oh man, I gotta watch it. And so like, I get it, but at the same time, it just seems like such a broken record. But we're gonna jump into this next clip here and see what he's gotta say about Marty this time. Marty, let me tell you something, you douchebag. As well as you, glory bitch. You guys want to sit there and run your mouths about me and send people to my house? Like, for real, dude? You want to send people to my house? For what reason, motherfucker? Like, Marty, are you looking to get your ass beat, motherfucker? Because that's the road that you're fucking headed down, dude. You're headed down a road to get your fucking ass handed to you by yours truly. Because I'll be honest with you, Marty and glory bitch, you two little fucking clowns need to grow the fuck up. And man the fuck up. And stop it though like a bunch of pussy ass little fucking kids. For real. You act like a bunch of little punk kids. I know what y'all are doing, pretending to be me. Y'all are out here running around pretending to be me? Well, fuck you, dude. Let me tell you something, Marty. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. And I'll be honest, this ain't just for you, Marty, or just for you, Glory Hole. That's for all you dumb fucking trolls out there that think that you're a smart ass. I'll be straight up honest. I'm tired of y'all punk motherfuckers doing this shit, dude. Y'all trying to sit there and pretend to be me and talk to these people? Like, I'm not gonna find out, for real? Like, you don't think that I'm not gonna find out about the fucking bullshit you do? Like, for real, what do you trolls gain out of doing this dumb shit, bro? But all y'all dumb fucking trolls, you need to grow up and get a life. For real. Like, come on, Marty, what do you fucking... What do you gain from doing the fuck shit that you fucking do? Like, for real, dude, I'm sick and tired of y'all motherfuckers coming up in here running your fucking mouth, talking shit, and sending people to my motherfucking house, bro. That witch choking suit is really William Glory Hole in disguise. That witch choking suit is really William Glory Hole in fucking disguise. Like, come on, Marty. Glory Hole. 
You guys don't think that I'm not going to see what the fuck you idiots do? I honestly deserve an award for how I cut 30 minutes of him ranting into a two-minute clip. Um, it's actually crazy how many, like, long periods of silence between each of these statements. I know you can notice that I spliced it all together. Between each of those splices, it's like a 30-second pause. I don't know why he talks like that. And he repeats himself over and over and over. So once I cut out most of that, it became apparent that, like, we could get this over with in, like, two minutes. Um, and even in this two-minute clip, he repeats himself, like, 15 times so i don't know i just feel like these rants we could probably make this video eight hours long if i just continued to do this but like i feel like you get the point at this point with the marty saga we're gonna keep going and see what else marty does he has a couple of other funny things that he's gonna be doing here that i want to cover before we move on to the next chapter of the cyrax universe i'd have to say my favorite personal moment of the whole marty and cyrax saga of this whole story is when Marty created a fake record label called Bender Boys Records, signed Cyrax, let him on for a little while, then dropped him publicly only for Cyrax to find out that the label wasn't real and it was just Marty the whole time. That's one of my favorite arcs of this whole thing. So we're going to jump into the clip of him celebrating, getting signed. You're going to see how ridiculous this guy acts, and it's 100% real. It's not a character. That's the best part about it. And then you're going to see him get dropped, his reaction to that. What up, y'all? It's your boy Cyrax in the house. Shout out to my motherfucking brothers over at Bender Boys Records. Shout out to the big homie CPN. Child's Play Ninja. I figured I'd just come in, kick it with y'all. Figured since I'm making it big time, there's well rock the swagger to go with it, boys. Now it appears to me that we have some issues with certain people who will not be named, but they're being dealt with. Straight up. Shout out to the Bender Boys. What's good, bro? Shout out to BBR, Bender Boys Records. What's good? I figured I'd come in, celebrate, kick it, chill. Got a brand new dope ass track dropping with some of the homies, like the big homie George. What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? I figured your boy Mills will drop in, say what's up. But yo, Bender Boys, what's good, bros? How you guys doing, huh? Yeah, y'all little bitch ass haters didn't think I could dress up, did you? Yeah, you can't do this. And you see the back of this jacket right here? Soon enough, the BBR patch is going right there, boys. Right on that motherfucking back. You want to know why? Because I rep BBR to the fucking death of me. And every fucking label that I've rocked over the years. Killer Clown sounds on this song. Bloodshot Records right here. And right on the motherfucking back, boys. Motherfucking Bender Boys Records. Echo Side Entertainment on this song. You want to know why? I rep all those labels that got me to where I am. Whether it's Killer Clown Sounds, whether it's Bloodshot Records, whether it's Echo Side Entertainment, or whether it's my current label, Bender Boys Entertainment. Those labels and those day ones are the guys that got me to where I'm at. So to the real fans, y'all killed it. And to the Bender Boys, I want to say thank you, man. You want to know why? Because I got an opportunity to change my kids' lives. 100%. So as we see here, Cyrax is acting like a whole brand new human being. He suddenly has a New York accent. He's saying, what's goody, what's goody, what's goody for some reason. And I have no idea where he picked that up. And he's just kind of a whole new man, you know, the confidence. And the thing that strikes me off the weirdest, though, is Cyrax like, you gave me this opportunity to change my family's life for my kid's life. I'm like, what kids, Cyrax? Cyrax has this really weird ability, just like everything else we've covered so far, to where if he has any girlfriend, real or fake, whether it's a troll or not, if they have kids of their own, he will, like, suddenly claim them and clutch onto them, like, like for dear life, and will be like, yeah, these are my, ch my children my children and he does that so often and it's such a weird creepy thing and it just makes me wonder why like I, I may i'm sure he just wants a family of his own and he'll likely never really have one in a conventional way but damn dude bro's got like stepdad delusion so if y'all bitches want to step to the best you're looking at him boys you're looking at the new hottest artist on the motherfucking scene and if you wait and subscribe to bender boys records or the Bender Boys YouTube channel. Go check them out, son. They got some dope ass shit. Yo, Fat Scott. What it do? These guys did something that nobody else did. 
they took me on and gave me a real chance to make real money. I don't think Cyrax has the ability to even remotely create any sort of sounds that could be resembling anything that we would call music and then put that on any streaming service that anybody would want to then buy. Um, I'm gonna be honest, man. I heard the song or two he put out on BBR. You know, Bender Boy's record's on my back. And it was, it was noise. It certainly was noise. And it, it, it entered my ears. And I'm not a better person for that. So, uh... <laughs> Um, it's just funny, this, like, this crazy confidence, like, you know, step to the best, like, brother, like, where, like, why? But there is four people I have to thank above all else. Well, it's anyway, five. One, my family. Two, God himself. Three, my girl. Four, my son, Elliot. And five, my beautiful Wonderful daughter, Leah, man. On behalf of all people who are totally religious and totally have a stance on saying anything about this, Jesus doesn't want your nomination. On top of that, man, this is so weird, man. He's like, my beautiful, wonderful daughter, Leah. He's never even met this kid. If, he doesn't even know if this kid's existing. He doesn't even know if they're real. Like, and if he has seen them on video chat, that's just so weird, dog. It's like, you don't even know this kid. Like, why are you online being like, that's my daughter? You know, my, my beautiful, wonderful daughter. It's like, dude, you've never even met this kid. Like, what the heck? It's so uncomfortable. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And most importantly, though, I do want to thank God for giving me this opportunity and a beautiful fucking family that I can support every day. Well, these little bitches, Music Biz Marty and his little fuck buddy, Siznak, are running around with their heads cut off. We're out here making moves. <laughs> Young Tom Cruise, my ass, man. I ain't no Tom Cruise. I ain't trying to be no Tom Cruise either. Hey, yo, boss, should I drop that verse for him one time, man? Should I let him get a sneak peek of that track? All right, I got you, boss. I got you. Now, if y'all don't know, man, me and this dude right here, we got some dope shit dropping for your fucking ear holes. Ooh, yo, that shit's going to be fire, son. I can't wait to hear that shit. Honestly, bro, I can't wait to hear your verse on that. I'm hyped for that verse, my dude. Hey, yo, Van Legend, go ahead and have fun here, big homie. All right, at this point, I can't get through any more of this. He just keeps repeating the same thing. He brings on another guy. They spit some terrible freestyles, and I don't think I want to listen to any more of that. But if you want to listen to more of that, you can find a lot of these clips on M Word Boy's channel. There will be a link in the description to that good stuff fun stuff what's goody what's goody what's goody as our boy Cyrax would say now we're gonna get into the funny part of this one of the things that kind of got me into this whole thing in the first place because I saw it going around on Instagram and I was like what the heck is this and the way they drop Cyrax in the news on Cyrax that music biz Marty has uh, now acquired his contract is honestly one of the best trolls of this whole series like yo Cyrax I got an announcement to make What's up, dude? Um, well, the video's not doing as well as we thought it was going to. Yeah. And uh, speaking with the, the team here at Bender Boys Records, um, they deemed you unmanageable. How? And then uh, we had to sell your we had to sell your contract then. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you fucking no, dude? We sold You're it this not, morning. Bro. Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah, the video didn't perform as well as we thought it was going to. What the fuck, dude? Are you fucking serious? I put in all that hard work for nothing. Are you serious right now? Well, we we, we sold serious? we sold the contract. Bro, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you're stupid, man. <laughs> What the fuck, man? I put in all that hard work for you and the crew for what? What the fuck, man? Well, we, so, we sold we sold your contract, so you're still fine. You know what? You know what? Fuck you and fuck the Bender Boys. I'm doing this shit on my own. Fuck you. Do you want to know who we sold it to? I already know. Music bitch, Marty's a fucking cunt bag. Yeah, honestly, I don't think that will ever get old to me. Just to, just at the very end, just like, yep, yeah, music Viz Marty. 
So this next one is going to be what led up to apparently Ed and which is his stepdad and Cyrax here getting into a fight, an altercation, if you will. Basically, he goes screaming down the stairs yelling about Marty and then Ed basically punches him in the face trying to knock him out. I don't think it quite works, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. Um, this next little edit and montage here, you'll see a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different times where he's just kind of talking all kinds of trash to Marty, says he's quitting YouTube, comes back like literally an hour later, probably does that two or three times. What's up guys, it's your boy. Um, I have something that I need to say, and this isn't easy for me. Unfortunately, due to how bad things are getting, I'm going to have to step away from YouTube for a good long while. Like, I have to leave now. I'm not deleting my channel. Or actually, no, like, yeah, I think I am going to. So, Marty, since since this, this is how you want to act, right? This is how you want to act. I'm going to tell you that straight up, Marty. You need to fucking stop the shit that you're doing. Because what you're doing is fucking dumb. Okay? Grow the fuck up. Get a fucking life, okay? Okay, he's Marty, right. let me tell you right now. Oh. Let me tell all three of you motherfuckers right now. Because of you three, oh, I man. almost took my fucking life a few minutes ago because of your bullshit bullying. It's you need to quit. You were screaming at me earlier and telling me that I- Because you deserve it, you piece of shit. Same thing. Shut up, Marty. I don't deserve shit. Everything you've done to me needs to quit. You need to back off. Enough is enough. You've won me for six fucking years. It's time to grow up. <coughs> Be a man and Schmeckle, shut the fuck up, you loser. We've only known you for two years, Cyrax. How is it? Hey, shit? Schmeckle, no one's, no one's known me for six up, years. Shut your mouth for you, you piece of shit. No one's known you for six years, Cyrax. Shut up, Schmeckle. That's what you don't get. Marty's <laughs> known me longer than you have. No, he has. And has. I've known him for over three. So trust me. Are you so no shit, you Why are you growling? Loser. Shut your fucking mouth. And Marty, you need to back off. <laughs> You're a narcissistic psychopath that needs to fuck off. Did you attack Ed? Well, gee. Did you wish Sally you was around Fuck or? off. I wouldn't have reason to go off. Once again, we're seeing the finest projection from Cyrax himself. Now, for a little bit more context, apparently right before he started coming on and shouting about everything he was talking about, him and Ed got into an altercation. Wasn't able to find much about it, couldn't find too terribly much footage or anything, but safe to say Ed probably popped him one, maybe twice, and uh, set him straight, and then he just ranted and raved about it. But knowing how Cyrax tends to take these quote-unquote altercations and use them as pity stories or had like a way to like buff himself up, he'll be like, well, at least I stood up, at least I, at least I didn't back down. Well true but at the same time you got your ass whooped so not quite sure this is the leg to stand on i guess let's keep moving on and see what goes on next sorry look at the chat look at the chat here sorry uh, sorry marty i had to freshen up so i look good after i beat your ass but you already lost yeah i, I would rather look good than you like a lost. bum like you bro because the difference between me and you marty is one very it's simple up, thing Cyrax. you got you no money. passion for some quick context what you're about to see is marty and cyrax having a rap battle and uh, as you'll see both sides can't really rap but if I had to give anybody the dub it's gonna have to be Marty just for the hyena laughing in the background anyways let's see what happens you got no heart and you sure as hell ain't got no fucking soul bro you ain't, no money. You, you ain't got no skill in this industry dog so oh, fair warning bro back out now before you get fucking curb stomped by one of the best really you quickly, sucks. I could give a shout out to another $15 I don't know for NCPH News Network 5 and LL for another 10. So, I mean, we're nearing 80 bucks, which is like 16 times more than you made in the past 10 years. So, congratulations, Cyrax. That's proof right there, dude. I mean, more than you have, 16 times more than you've made in the past 10 years. So, who's superior? Clearly me. You really just don't get it, do you, Mark? Well, okay, I'm, I'm not I'm afraid of you. Dude. I don't fear you. Trina, thank you for the five. Courtney, neat. Thank you for the 10. Tracy Young, thank you for the 15 again. Oh, my God. So that's a hundred bucks in over like uh, in, in under two hours, Cyrax. That would take you 
about 20 years to make. And I've done it in under two hours. Sorry. Rack. So you're clearly, you're clearly not as good as I am. Sorry. Rack. <laughs> you're clearly not as good as I am. Marty, why don't you go back to fucking class before I come out there and beat that fucking faggot ass? You're looking like a little motherfucking Oompa Loompa reject. Who are you? Oh, wait. I don't know you because I don't owe you anything, burger bitch. So why don't you go back to McDonald's and get back into that shit? We all know that you like showing burgers up your goddamn ass. So take your ass back to fucking class before I have to come out there and whoop that goddamn ass. Daddy, hey, Marty, John you ain't fucking you shit to me. Apps. You ain't on my level, kid. I'll knock you out. One, two, three. Hey, listen, sorry. This is taking you 22 years to make. Platty and John G, thank you so much for the cash apps. Yeah. See that right there? This little punk motherfucker is all about the motherfucking cash. But what he lacks is skill and heart. And guess what? You ain't got none of that. I'm taking all of that. I don't have to you earn that. Respect. You've never made anything. I don't have to earn that respect. I'm a real rapper. That shit. So you're you want to come near me, bitch? Go ahead. I'll motherfucking get your goddamn weights with. I hope you're ready I mean. to catch suit of the chest. Because <laughs> when I'm done with you, I'll leave you leaking from your motherfucking vest. You want to go ahead and come with me? Go ahead. Put me to the test. I'll pass every single test that you throw at me. I don't give a fuck what it is. Go ahead. Okay, I got a test for you. Make $110 from yeah. the music in, in an hour and a half, okay? That's, that's a test for you. Make get, the money, Get 170 bitch. people watching you rap, okay? You will never will. You can't. Go ahead. Take your motherfucking you can't do it. shot you can't do it. all that fucking <laughs> you, you can't can do it. You're fucking with the best. You can't do it. As you walk in the <laughs> club, put that motherfucking barrel to your fucking <laughs> dome. Well, took me a chance. Put well, one fucking sniper rifle around in your motherfucking oh, dome. Shit. Hey, Agent well, Scully, I got to meet you, sir. Thanks for the $6.66. That's $117 in about an hour and a half of rapping. <laughs> well, that would take you about 23 years to make, Cyrax, at your current rate. See, while you sitting on your motherfucking ass at home. Hey, Cyrax, aren't you supposed to provide for your family with your rap music? Isn't that the goal? You don't do it. You're a failure. Here's the thing, Marty. I don't need a beat to beat your bitch ass. See, Rx, if you want to, if you, if this is the way that you provide for your family, you're a failure because you made five dollars and eighty-one cents in ten years. I've made one hundred and seventeen dollars in an hour and a half. Like, wh what are we even doing here? You're beneath me. Like, you're not even on my. <laughs> Why am I even talking to you? You're a joke. When are you going to fucking learn that no matter what you say, you ain't going to win this shit, nigga boy? You're a little pussy boy. <laughs> a little bitch made boy. Your mommy and dick. Hang on, I got to do this, Sarx. We got a PayPal. Um, this person didn't list their... Let me see if they listed their YouTube name here. Sarx, listen, this is what happens when you're actually like a real rapper. Um, so, oh, Spooky Tuesday. Spooky Tuesday. Thank you so much. That brings me up to $120 in an hour and a half. And 20 minutes of that, I was just talking. Like, so I don't, I don't know, dude. Hey, Burger Boy, let me tell you something, bro. Okay. Straight up, I've got nothing against you, bro. But let me tell you right now, why do you keep hanging out with this punk-ass dude, bro? That's not even what is wrong, bro. I, I hang out burger. with successful rappers, you scumbag. He's a yeah. successful hey, rapper. Hey, I'm more with successful you're not. rappers than him, you hey, bad What have boy. you done? Hey, Marty. You don't, you don't make how any money. Marty? Sorry, how are you more successful? Yeah, what how are you more success? successful? What is successful? Here comes his dick. He's pulled his dick out. <laughs> 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 so as per usual, when Cyrax begins to lose, he tends to whip out his willy and jump around a little bit to try to, I don't know, mess up the stream, get it taken down, some sort of dominance move. But unfortunately, as we come to find out, Marty is getting very smart and quick to those types of things, so I don't think it really had the effect that he hoped it would. But we can clearly see that not only can Cyrax not race on video games, can he not play Fortnite or any game similar, but he can also not rap at all, he can't sing, he can't scream, he can hardly play a guitar let alone hold it correctly. It's just a sad state of affairs here. Cyrax, I need no, to respond. shut up, old man. Cyrax, I no, you, need, you need to listen here. Cyrax, hear me out here. You believe that you're making a living from your music and you made $5.81 from before I ever knew you. Oh, man, Marty, this isn't what that's about. Besides that, I think I've heard enough. Hold no, on, hold no. on. First, you were already insane. You were already insane. That's my point. No, I'm not, Marty. See, Marty, that's the thing. I know what your plan is. I know what. How is $5.81 a living wage? Hey, Marty, Marty, well, stop fucking muting me and that's let me fucking. Marty, stop fucking muting me and let me say my goddamn piece without. You fucking muting me, you or you getting in my way? Because I'm speaking facts here, okay? Now, if you notice, shut up. If you okay. notice, 
from 2018 to 2019. From 2018, I was doing really, really good. Sorry, it's really, really good. You made about $2 in a year. Saying, what did I say, Marty? Sorry, it's just $2 in a year. That's not really good anywhere. Actually, the reason why you didn't get anywhere, Marty, is because if you take a look at the charts, take a look at the charts, and you take a look at what went on in 2019, the only reason why I wasn't able to promote it is because she... That's when all this shit started, Marty. That's why I wasn't making as much as I should have. But in the long run, I still prove that I have what it takes. But the problem is, okay, so nobody look at the numbers. Numbers. Try out and listen, pal. Because one, numbers. I'm not racing for you. I refuse to race for you. I'd rather fucking kill myself yeah, than race for you. Now, Marty, 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 stop with the bullshit. Stop bullshit. with the bullshit, nigga. See, right there, guys, there's your fucking proof. If you go back and read the charts, see Sorry, the, it's you know, the how the music business works, Marty. You have no idea because you don't do music. You don't know how the music <laughs> industry works, now. You really don't. Sorry, and she, isn't it a coincidence that the Sorry, Marty, 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 isn't it a coincidence, Marty, how when everything started to go downhill, Sorry, Ram Ranch Records started up, you he alone. Which you own. Sarge, are these the numbers? Hey, isn't that funny, Marty? Hey, Sarge, let me ask you this. Are these the numbers? Are these the right numbers? Speaking facts? You afraid? Yes. Sarge, are, are these the numbers? Are these the numbers here? Indeed they are. But, Sarge, it's but Marty, 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 what you failed to realize is this. Sarge. I didn't promote it like I should have, or I should say I was unable to, because every time I try to promote it, Motherfuckers like you would come along and try to fuck with me. And I sorry, you're making less than a penny a day. Bitches, see, fake little bitches like you. Sorry, you're making less than a penny a day. Marty, Marty, little fake bitches like you, you are why I'm going dark. That's why I'm not going to be posting for a while sorry, because I'm tired of being bullied. Sorry, you're saying you're driving insane, but you believe that this was success before we ever met. No, no, no. That's well, you're seeing it's success right now. You're lying through your teeth again, Marty. Sorry. You really are. And then tell the truth about Ram Ranch Records and about how the minute I started making bank, you started to. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll bring up the numbers. No, 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 no. Tell, tell the truth, you. Marty. Tell the truth. You owned Ram Ranch Records. Your label attacked me when I was working with Ian on Bloodshot Records at that current point in time. Therefore, you and all these little trolls that you have are the exact fucking reason why I never got anywhere because I had to spend more time defending myself, defending my content. Than oh, sorry, making bank is not making less than a penny a day. Marty, and whose fault is that, Marty? Oh, geez. Not mine, Cyrax. You were doing. Listen, th these are your figures. You, <laughs> Cyrax, you're making less than a penny a day. Bullshit, bro. Don't give me that fucking box a lot. Okay, how many days are in a month, Cyrax? You're lying, Cyrax. Do you know? Listen, prove you're not a forty-three. How many days are in a month? Marty, Marty, Marty. Cyrax, do you know how many days are in a month? Are you that far gone? How many days are in a month? Hey, Marty, Marty, just admit it. You're a fucking liar. And a, bad, a very bad liar at that. You These suck at lying, Marty. You're a fucking shit talker. These you don't know how to hold up or own up to anything. You're a shit talker, nigga. Uh, You're a fucking shit talker. You're a fucking wannabe, bro. And guess what? The reason why I didn't make more is because of you. You want to try to micromanage me. That's all it is. That's all it's ever been about. But, but sorry, Just Shut the fuck up. Sorry, so you literally made like 11 cents a month before we knew each other. Oh, bro. Just Sorry, so you made $5.80 before we knew each other, and you made like 40 the other day. Marty, Marty, Marty. Sorry, so I've given you $10 to enforce debts. That's two times the amount of money you've ever made in music. You just shut the fuck up. You. Sorry, so this is all true. This is all true, though, Cyrax. So like, you can't argue with this. Ignorant bitch. You're oh, ignorant, Marty. How can you argue with this, Cyrax? So how can I argue with it? Very easily. The fact that you started trolling me. You started harassing me in 2018, nigga. Don't fucking lie. That's around the time when Bloodshot Records was around. 
That's the time when somebody pretended to be you, and then you came forward and said, no, Correct. this person is not me. Correct. So shut the... Correct. Okay, here, I'm going to pull this up here. We're going to look at the amount of money you made before we met, okay? Before we met. This is before we met. Blah, so blah, blah. Why don't Sorry. you guys shut the fuck up? Seriously, stop with the box of bullshit, bro. I've uh, fucked your ass wrong and you can't handle it. So, Marty, fuck you. Fuck your shitty ass team. I'd rather race alone than race for you any goddamn day of the week. And to all the little haters, fuck you. I'm staying off of YouTube for a while to work on myself and work on shit that I should have been working on a long goddamn time ago. I'm done being bullied by you, Marty. I'm not working for you. I'm tired of you trying to micromanage me. Oh, and just for the haters out there that think that they run my mouth, that they run my life, and that includes you, Marty. You yeah. don't run shit. My life is not your fucking business. My yeah. life is no. Shut up. This my is- life, my personal life, is my business. Now, if I tell you about it and I make it your business, then yes, it's your business from that point on. But until I make it, you make it your business. It ain't your business. So leave it the fuck alone and stay the fuck out of my goddamn life and quit trying to interfere in my goddamn yes. life. And Marty, that includes you. You need to stay the fuck away from me and stay out of my fucking life because I want nothing to do with you, motherfucker. You're nothing but a shit-talking little bitch yes, that's been bullying me since 2018, nigga. You and you need to fucking days, grow up, you goddamn man-child. Sorry, you say I'm crazy? crazy? Yeah. Well, guess what? If I am going crazy, you're the reason why. You, you, all you, the bullying, you, sir, all the attacks, true. all the harassment, nigga. All that shit that you and mass over report and all these other people. No, shut up. All these sorry, people that fucking harass me and bully me. You know. guys are the fucking reason you why. If I am going insane, y'all niggas are the reason why. And you need to grow up. Find someone else to bully and hey, stay the fuck out of my goddamn personal life. Marty, I never want to hear from your fucking ass ever again. Oh, you're going to leave me the fuck alone. No, you're going to leave me alone, Marty. Stay out of my life. He's I don't want you me. in my life, nigga. It's Get the me. hint. Leave me alone and stay out of my goddamn life. I don't want anything to do with you. Get by, you fucking dirtbag piece of shit. And as we see here, Marty kind of just severely owns Cyrax once again, like always. This video could honestly go for another two, three, four hours just on the Marty saga. But I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I think we get it at this point. Marty is the OG troll. He brought us the whole Cyrax lore. Now we're going to jump into some of these side arcs and other characters that have made this story absolutely amazing and super interesting. I think next, it's only right that we jump into the Wilkins arc, where his ex-stepdad disowns him and owns him several times.